Welcome back YouTube, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some Simic Ramp Steal Your Stuff Mass Manipulation. So this is a deck list or archetype that was going around on the Reddit Spikes uh, subreddit for like competitive play. And uh, I got the list itself uh, from Twitter from Aaron Gertler who made it to Mythic. Uh, he got all the way up to number 4 ranked Mythic with the deck. Uh, just a minor variation from his just due to uh, cards that I have. Um, so he was playing 4 Incubation Druids, just playing 1 Druid of the Cow in its place, just missing the 1. And he was doing uh, a 3-3 three, three split between Entrancing Melody and Mass Manipulation. I'm going with uh, 2 and 4 just based on what we have. So we're going to take it through a couple spin and then see how it goes. Uh, and we'll take it from there. So let's play this out. Really want to be playing some sort of creature decks. Um, like Phoenix or something like that. Like Drake's. Those would be the best matchups. Um, so as we get started, if you haven't done so already, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, if you're enjoying the content, hitting that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner costs you absolutely nothing and it goes a long way to helping me uh, continue to build out the stream. So this hand looks pretty good. Lots of mana. We can start stealing some stuff. Elf on one and then we can elf and grow spiral on two. get up to 6 mana on turn 3. So next turn we'll play out the elf and then play out the growth spiral. Opponent's leading with green so this can be some sort of stompy variant, uh, gruel maybe, just mono green. So this looks like dinosaurs. Uh, so here we'll play this out. We can actually steal their uh, mana ramp here too, which is funny, but uh, we'll just play it out like this and pass the turn. This might also give our opponent hesitation in terms of casting out Colossal Majesty, that's fine. Perfect, so we can crease this for 4 here, refill our hand. And then next turn we can start with uh, stealing our opponent's stuff. Uh, so here, being able to keep control power creature. So we need to decide what we want to do here. We can hold up counter spells, which I think would make more sense. They don't have any creatures out right now. So we can just attack in with the crisis and pressure them that way. Uh, so we have one unconditional steal any creature with the six mana, and we can steal a creature with uh, four converted mana cost. Impulse is fine. They get their land. So Ripjaw Raptor here. I'm actually okay with this because I want to steal it. <laughs> so we'll just insight to try to hit more lands. Okay, so we hit the land here. So here I'm just going to play this out for four. Thank you. And we'll attack in with the elf since we don't have anything to do with the mana. And take him down. We can, our win condition is our opponent's win condition with this deck. Give it another sh shot, see how it plays out. One or two more games in unranked, and then we can take it to ranked best of one as well. I'm a little concerned how this deck would phase against like mono red. Like you'll gain some life off Krasis, but they could chain Whirler our easier threats. So same plan as last game. Land, elf, six mana on turn two, refill with Krasis. It's a great hand. Okay, so 
can be some sort of mono black aggro, Rakdos, Aristocrats. No blocks here. Graveyard Marshal. So just play out the elf. Pass the turn. Exile a creature from your graveyard, create a 2-2 zombie, and it's tapped. No blocks. We need our mana. So opponent's got a really aggressive curve to start off with. Play out the Hinterland Harbor. So we're one short of adapting Incubation Druid, so I'm just going to play out the Crisis for four. We can trade with the Graveyard Marshal. And then we can start stealing their stuff. Okay, so they have the cast down. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do this for four. Do this for two. And then play out an incubation druid. So unfortunately it's tapped. But at least it gives us something. Okay, so they play Kaya. See if they exile our elf. I'm gonna make you suffer. It would be really good if we can steal this. That's fine. We do need to be mindful of its ultimate. Opponents deciding not to attack there. So here... Let's attack in. We can adapt if need be. Gets it off the board. Doesn't advance our board state that much, but at least keeps him off that. Next turn, if unless they play a creature, we can attack with both. We can trade off the graveyard marshal. Reassembling skeleton. Okay, so we hit a land there. Let's play Ovivian, see what we get. Let's get Crisis. And so we can three, four, five, six. We can Crisis for three, which I don't think we need to do right now. Let's attack in like this. See what our opponent does. And we'll end the turn. We could Sinister Sabotage, whatever they play. And then we have Krasis to deal with Kaya. Right now, they can only deal three damage to us. Krasis, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Krasis for nine, potentially ten. Fine. If this is our opponent's entire turn, we're okay with it. So opponent's just hedging their life now. Okay. This gets interesting now. So let's see what we got. Let's 
just get the island. Play that out. So we can get... I think we just do this for Kaya. So x equals 1. Let's get rid of both of those. And then just end the turn. Protect Kaya and we can start just pressuring them that way. A big crisis next turn will offset our life. No thank you. Uh, growth spiral. We don't need that. An opponent concedes. So that was a pretty good matchup. Opponent was on some sort of Orzov build. Run it back for another one. These are usually fun, these big mana decks. As long as you're not playing against anything too aggressive. Cool. Lots of ramp early. That's what we want to see. So it could be a couple different decks. Um, that signifies they are playing creatures, which is good for us. Saltai most likely. Might be the original Golgori. So just play out Incubation, play out Lana or Elves, and then we say go. So next turn we can hold up Frilled Mystic if needed, but also adapt Incubation Druid. No blocks. Okay, so it's Golgari Dredge. Opponent puts the land back on top. Just pass the turn here. So we'll see what the opponent plays out. Um, here, do we want to ambush them? I think I'm okay this turn, just taking the damage. At the very least, if they decide not to play anything out, we just get the adapt, and then we have a lot of mana. Um, fills their graveyard more. But I want to get something like a Midnight Reaper. Them hitting a second fine finality is actually really good for us. They lose some of that value. So we'll Frilled Mystic this. Another land here. So we got a lot of green. We'll just play it out like this. So we can adapt it and Insight, which is nice. See if opponent decides to attack in. They do, so here let's adapt. So here we'll just block like this. Take the one damage. Then 
and see what the opponent comes out with. Their mana short from a finality. They've already cast three. So they have Golgari Raiders. That's fine. Okay, so. Mass manipulation is great. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can do this for six. Uh, so we do need to shock ourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. X is one. Thank you. I would love a Golgari's Raider. And here I'm going to shock ourselves. We can hold up Sabotage if not in sight. And the nice thing is it gets the counters from the opponent's creatures. It's not based off a, a dynamic ability. So opponent attacks in here. It's fine. Just just kill it off. They'll get the, the dredge, but at this point, not too concerned. They have a Molder Hulk, we can just steal it. Enters the battlefield with the number of 1 1 counters equal to the number of creatures in your graveyard. That's fine, let's just try to steal this. There was an option for us to counter it. Another druid. Okay, so crisis here. It's a big crisis. So one, two, one, two, five, six, seven. So two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crisis for n nine. So that can trade with the the lurcher. See what the opponent decides to do. So they attack in here. It's fine. We can do the trade here. Opponent's got nothing. See if they have a removal spell. Uh, we're gonna hold back. We could use the mana from the druid to play out some stuff from our hand. Alrighty, so let's go. Druid, Druid. Then end turn. So we have both Insight and an Adapt available for us. So they memorial it back. That's fine. We'll just counter it when it comes down. Oh, thank you. Uh, do we want the sabotage? Yeah, we could probably keep the sabotage. Opponent concedes. Another win for the deck. And we got a Lavinia. So we'll play one more with the deck, see how it goes. Seems pretty solid overall. Steal everything your opponent's doing.
So, so this hand doesn't really do much. Uh, it's we can melody an early threat if need be. Uh, do, 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 do. Sure, why not? We need mana. Guarantees us insight and melody. No early ramp hurts this hand, but going down to five, I don't think we're going to get much better. Seeing the green here is encouraging. So they have wild growth walker, which is fine. We can steal their stuff there. Just play out the breeding pool. So I think what we'll do is if they have something like a Jade Light Ranger made it bigger, we would have steal stolen it. If not, we'll just Chemister's Insight this turn. Try to get some more action going. Even a Branch Walker gets this to 2-4. Okay, second Wild Growth. So here, there's Druid to the Cowl. So that takes us to 6 mana, but it doesn't really do much else. I think I'd rather hold up Insight at this point. You could also fake like we have a removal spell. This would have been good last turn. It's fine, they'll gain a lot. We can steal those. Gain a bunch of life. The unfortunate thing is it will be tapped, so we don't get to block with it next turn. But we can also play the Druid just as a blocker. Actually, we can't play Druid as a blocker here. So let's just take a Wild Growth Walker. We're short of mana there. So we could, if we draw a land, we can Entrancing Melodies. Ah, Trastani. <laughs> the natural enemy of our deck yeah we got they got this one can't beat a trust any so overall not too bad with the deck uh, we won quite a few matches uh, seems pretty promising let's try it out once in ranked just to see how it would do gives me a break from mono red there's only so much uh, get to lava runners you can cast in a row. Uh, we'll keep this. Spell the forest. Okay, so here. I think we can go Druid here. If the opponent wants to spend a turn playing Shock, they can. This is likely a Phoenix list of some sort. Okay, so they spend their turn Lava Coiling. Pass turn. Growth Spiral next turn. Or at their end step. Okay, so this is Phoenix. Stealing their Phoenix will be good. This 
So we'll end site here. Uh, let's just chemisters in sight. I want to hit a land drop. Okay, so we have melody. That's good. So depending on their turn. This is a slower draw. They don't have... Uh, I forget the wizard's name. The one that lowers the cost of spells. Opponent hits two. So they could technically get a phoenix this turn. If they have another red spell. So they do. Okay, so we hit another crisis. We have three, so we can use this one defensively. Next turn, we can also start stealing our opponent's stuff. We're at six mana, which is pretty much critical mass for this deck. It's fine. That's the second lava coil that they've used. So here, I'm just going to Entrancing Melody for 4. Mass Manipulation at this point will be better if, because we can take multiple things. So we'll see if they down tick Ral, but I'm actually going to steal their Ral. Okay, that's good. Thank you. I would love a Ral. Uh, here, I'll take the Growth Spiral. The Elf gives him a th target. 9-4. Currently have... 3. So... That's six. Crisis for six. Actually, I oh, guess we're committed. Should have used Ral first, see what we would have drawn. Okay, another mass manipulation effect is good. So I want to keep Ral alive. I'll take that. Get rid of Growth Spiral. So opponent's digging here. This matchup's actually probably really favorable for us. They're not super quick. Their threats are under cost, but scale up well. Okay, so Lava Coil. Shock. Do they have enough to kill us? They're one off from killing us. No, nah, they got it. 16 exactly. Would have had it from next turn, but couldn't dodge all the removal. Well, the deck seems like it can hold its own, even in the higher ranked, but uh, definitely an interesting deck for sure. Um, so we're going to wrap it up for here. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.